Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart! A new packaging. Same old Rebel Yell, but it's Rebel. Ten-year, single barrel. I missed the yell, so we're going to test it! <laughs> no, you messed it up. You should have missed the yell. <laughs> Should have been like there is no yell. So I had to make it up. I had to create the you yell. Should have been like we're gonna. Nope. I brought it back in. No, put no yell. yell. I put no the yell. yell. You got the word rebel. See. You might have rebel without a cause. You might have the rebel yell. You might have. That's the only rebels I can think of. On my head are those two. Rebel without a cause and a rebel yell, which was way more like some kind of coyote yipping, is what I understand. Hmm. Like yip yip yip. I can't imagine uh, 3,000 people running at you doing that. I'd be people like, comment, hey. Scott's the quiet one? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. It's hard to believe. Hard to believe. Okay, this used to be Rebel Yell, 10-year, single barrel. Probably the same juice, new branding, new packaging. The yeah. Yell is gone. It's just Rebel 10-year now. Well, there you go. Single barrel. This is 50. It is 10. 50% ABV, 10-year. I like ten both year. those things. I want to see the raw wood. Should, uh, it's cool. also, or I was going to say it should be. It is a weeded um, mash Ooh, bill. Really? Also. So maybe a little more floral? Should be a little bit sweeter. Okay. Uh, 10 years old, like you said. Okay. Do, do, do. You're do, looking, do, you're do. looking. I'm just rebel. looking. Oh, Lux Road Distillers. Rebel. I was, was going to oh, say. Lux that. Road. Lux sure. Road. So it's got this black box. It's got 1849 on it. Well, that's a weird. What's up with that? Established 1849. Oh, it's probably, old, old distillery. Got it. So the barrel was filled 930 of 2009. Coin. Coin. There you go. I got mine on my water. That's not going to do anything. <laughs> I think I had it another way. I like the single barrel. Um, very cool. It looks like it's handwritten. I don't know if it is or it not. This looks barrel, it. It barrel does. number and barrel filled on September 30th of 2009. Oh, barrel filled 2009. Right. So. So right before COVID hit, they started to bottle it. I definitely get those floral notes. I'll be honest with you. Usually I get those floral notes from, it almost smells like a Four Roses to me. So I don't know why. Um, disclaimer, uh, taste buds almost back. Smell is not. Smells about 50%. I'm not getting much here, though. So what do you got to um, do? I, a dustiness. I really got a, like a, just like a dusty wood was the first note. With his smell or compromise, you have to trust Bart. Hashtag, right? hashtag trust Bart. I threw in a little silent hashtag. You should have silenced the yell. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring the yell back. I had to bring it in with some coyote yelps. <laughs> I was watching Ken Burns, and they had a guy kind of explaining what the it was like an old veteran, 100-year veteran that they recorded doing what the yip was. Yip. I get I get a, the dusty and the oak. I do get the dusty wood, and there are uh, floral notes at the front. Do you get the front? It's yes. full frontal floral. Yeah. There's some, some Yes. Yeah, more like a flower bed. Yes. Not, yeah. Not necessarily like one certain type like of flower. Like an oak flower bed. Yeah. That okay. had been stored in an old barn. <laughs> maybe a pirate ship yeah. that has its own flower pot <laughs> that's some inside baseball for our longtime listeners hello and viewers mm. what was I? Mm. nice palate nice first sip i should have we didn't even have a uh, should have had a little taste of whiskey just to get the taste buds started yeah i'd had coffee right before this but uh, it punched right through the coffee. Mm -hmm. Let me come back in. I get some I nice get... brown sugars. There is something floral on the front that I'm going to have to come back to. Oak vanilla on the finish. Oak, vanillas, caramels, honeys. Hmm. Cinnamon. Slight, not a lot. It's dry and dusty on the open. 
I didn't really get the floral there, though. Hmm. Well, not really getting any floral no, myself. I thought I did on the first one, but I didn't coming back. I have a little muted, though, still. Palette. I think my palate's back about 80, 90%, but my taste or my smell is uh, 50%, maybe. It's really still hindering. You're hindered. I'm not getting the, the subtleties, the nuances. Right. I and can get like better. the... I think you're better at those nuances, especially with the sherried stuff. Yeah. Or even with this, with a uh, wheat, uh, than I am. Yeah. So, I mean, I can give you kind of those big major flavors I'll get, yeah. those big notes. But uh, if there's something that's kind of fine-tuned in there or a little hint of something, a lot of times I'm not getting that. You know what that means. you got to drink more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more, trying. More practice. I'm more practice at the, at the consumption and smelling of. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting the floral again. It is. It does feel a little bit lighter. The mouth feel feels lighter, so it's not as thick or viscous. The oak and the dusty oak and the vanilla and the finish. I'm getting a slight hint of barrel char. Slight mm -hmm. hint of smoke on there. Um, almost a flat root beer or a flat cherry Coke. I can't tell which mm. one. I'd give you the flat root beer flat with root oak beer. chips in it. Okay. Yeah. To me, nice palate. Good call um, on that Really one. nice saturating. Not, not a real long finish. Mm -mm. It's pretty quick. The oak really lingers around in the finish, though. I've got the oak kind of kicking around, living there, moving in. I better pour a little bit more because I need to try it with water. <laughs> <laughs> I got mm -hmm. a little over, over, the, over the top. See if that opens up. Now, we like to add water. We like to play with the whiskey. Sometimes it opens it up. Sometimes Ooh. it'll kill it. Sometimes it'll do nothing. So... Nice, really nice palette. It's nice up front. It's nice through the mid palette. Wow. It's nice when it goes down. More, but then just the, the finish is pretty quick with it. It's really not hanging around. I mean, there's slight hints of it hanging around. It's nice when it goes down, but the finish is quick. Yep. Like college. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I get a little more dusty barn now. Awkward. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're doing sing song and we're only one show in for our set. <laughs> hmm. Um. Hmm. A little bit more, almost a cherry note brought out. Yeah, water did do something. It brought maybe that's maybe the floral now with yeah, the water. I would agree. It's got a little bit more of, uh, you've used it before, rose hips. Rose hips. Yeah, yep. I get it. It's like a rose. It almost tastes like some of those, the water where they'll even put like the, um, I don't know, they put like cucumber or oh. zucchini in it yeah. or something. <laughs> zucchini. I don't, I don't know if I've seen zucchini water. I've had zucchini water before. <laughs> and that's at the super fancy place. You get zucchini water. Yeah, go get your, uh, it's the next level up from. Cucumber water. Go get your kombucha and your <laughs> zucchini water. <laughs> I was going to say we're back to college again, but I won't do that. <laughs> but I just did. Mm. That is interesting. Water definitely changed it up a little bit. I get a little bit more uh, vanilla nose as well. Um, some of the dusty barn's gone and a little bit more of caramelized vanilla sugar. Huh. Mm. That's something. So definitely add some water. I could even see... Uh, a couple cubes pouring this over cubes come July fourth. Yeah, I think I think water helped it, and even the vanilla and the caramels brought out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. None of that rye spice is there. Of course, there shouldn't. Uh, there's not any rye in the mash bill. I believe this is all. Oh, meat really? No rye meat. at all. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't get any of that peppery kick. There's no punch. That's interesting. I like this better with water. It's toned down some of those oak flavors a little bit. That's just for me. Some folks love the oak. I actually don't like the oak influence as much. So it toned that down, sweetened it up, and added a little bit of that floral rosiness or zucchini-ishness into the flavor. Hmm. Uh, for, for 10 years old, a lot of 10-year-olds, you're not going to start to get really that much oakiness kicking, oak kicking in yet. And it is here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's almost like this. If they gave this another year or two, it'd be way too long for it. 
for most people, agree. most people that don't like the oak. Right. Yeah. It's right at the, it's at the edge where I could pick up the oak, but I, I would never say, and sometimes I'll say something for me is over oaked. Um, but no, again, I don't like the oak as much. So that is tasty. And I would love this over a couple cubes. Mm -hmm. I even added just another drop of water, but I'm still probably 45, 46% somewhere in there, but yeah. I like it with a... Well, it hides with, that proof a little, a little bit as well. It doesn't come off as that higher 50% yeah. ABV. I would have thought it was more like a 43 or 46, but it's nice to have that in there. It's probably why it handles the water so well. Okay. So I'll be... Oh, score. I'll score first. Um, I like this. I will give it an 86 yeah, I like my my bourbons a little higher rye. I like some of that pepper punch. This is good, and I would do it over ice. The, this is um, eighty nine, maybe a ninety. I mean, just mm, because of we're my off muted a bit on our stuff, my yeah. muted buds. So this um, hits you. You like this eighty nine? It's probably. I mean, I like it. I score rough. Um, to me, I was surprised. I actually thought it was going to be punchier with that fifty percent ABV. Mm. Not that it matters. Well, that I mean, could be the weeded mash bill, though. Yes, bringing a little it down, softer. Not, weeded yeah, mash bill, to much. me, is softer. That's why I like high rye mash bills. Yeah. So Okay, I, I so think. here's the kicker. The Rebel Yell 10-year that we bought was probably 55 maybe $60 at the most. Hmm. At our store, uh, this wasn't marked out on the shelf, but I picked it up expecting it to be in the same range, and it's $80 now. Which I thought, once I bought it, I was like, that's pretty high. Yeah. Maybe. But I'm out surfing stores across town yesterday, yeah. and Jacobs has it for $85. So what? I'm like, well, our store's really, yeah, apparently there's been a price hike on it. Because that's really two, Auburn and Jacobs are really usually pretty uh, competitively priced. Hmm. Um, so I was surprised to see it for 85 across town. That's, yeah. that's pushing it. I mean. Beyond. Yeah. So it's it's time, good. I'm not picking that up. No, I wouldn't pick it up again. No, dang. I was, I actually thought you were going to come out and say they rebranded and it's at $39.99. <laughs> I was going to go, dang, that's an Insta buy. At yeah. $39.99, 10-year-old Insta buy. Yeah. Go get it. Go get the Rebel. And uh, boy, tw it's more than twice what I thought it was. Well, it's I about twice what I thought it was going to be. I think it's probably some of the supply and demand and just the bourbon craze that's going anything with an age statement on it a 10-year bourbon uh 50 percent abv it's not gonna work well look at henry mckenna 10-year bottle and bond you can still find it for 45 to 50 dollars right and it's, um, and after, after winning it, yeah after winning that's, several awards that's what i was gonna say so yeah this is a little overpriced if you could find this for the 50 to six fifty dollar range i would say Mm -mm. It's still not bad. I don't think it's you're going to be. I don't think you're not going to be disappointed in the whiskey. You'd be disappointed in the price you paid. For I it. was sure you were going to say thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, they're trying to grab that market. Uh, they rebranded, and I was going to be like, woohoo! I was going to even do a yell. I was going <laughs> to do another. I was going to add an extra yell to it. And, and, and <laughs> yeah. ain't getting no yell. Yeah, you're getting like a yell's missing. We're not afraid to be quiet here on the show either. <laughs> All right, interesting. So I like the juice that's in the bottle, but I don't like the cost that's associated with it. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Wow. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up, uh, help support the show by picking up our coins, glasses, shirts, hats, dropper sets, whatever you like. I almost showed the not safe for work style. So we still got a few of these coins around. This is our salute to 2020. You throw this in your pocket, you pull it out, you'd be surprised the kind of attention you get by having some dummies in your pocket. <laughs> couple dummies in your pocket go to patreon as well help support us there you can give us a dollar a month you can give us five dollars ten twenty hundred whatever you want to give Ooh, us you get a stave with a specially blown glass with some that's at scotchtestdummies.com not yeah, patreon sorry you go to scotchtestdummies.com you get this Bart didn't somebody cute. say that they thought this was something other than a pot still somebody was telling uh, me somewhere that. that they they didn't know what that was huh. maybe they thought it was a bong yeah, I suppose. It's not. But you can get a stay with burnt stuff on it. Hello? At scotchtestdummies.com. <laughs> scotchtestdummies.com. Patreon is where you go if you really like us. That's right. Scotch it, you scotch gods. <laughs> it all helps keep the lights on and buys the whiskey. Bingo. Slancha. Dummies. Dummies.